What's up guys? Welcome back to another one of Lucky Strike Living. My name is Captain Gordy Watson and this right here is my first mate Rip. What are you doing bud? What are you doing? Oh goodness. And this video is going to be a little bit different. We are going to go back and show you what we started a couple videos ago with our yellowtail snapper fishing and trying to get them away from the amberjacks. If you haven't already seen our amberjack video, please go back a video or two and watch it. It's one of the best videos that I've put out to date. A lot of fun with a great group of guys. But as of right now, I'm gonna take you back to about 40 miles offshore on a wreck that we are fishing. And I'm gonna show you what we caught as well as probably gonna show you how my buddy Luke does some sushi rolls, maybe yellowtail sushi rolls. But it's going to be a good one, and I'll see you guys offshore. All right guys, we have changed gears a little bit. We are yellowtail snapper fishing. And the amberjacks, which you already saw, and the sharks are in full force. So what we're having to do is as soon as you hook them, you have to reel as fast as you possibly can, stone drags, and see if you can get it through the AJs, the sharks, and also Goliath grouper. Is this family friendly, YouTube? Family friendly. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I'm being serious, you have to reel as fast as possible. We're gonna show you what that looks like here in just a second. And we are definitely gonna lose some, but it's all part of the game. No competition, none. <laughs> He's a legend. He's a legend. No drag. Uh oh. Oh, hurry. Help him, Rip. I'm halfway. I just pointed straight down to Frank. He came right up. Come on, hurry. Hurry. Oh, he lost. He lost. It was close. Drag screamer. Sharky, sharky. Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> Wide open. Oh, he was chasing him. See him? He yeah. was chasing him. <laughs> no, sir, not from Chris. He's not going to get him. Hey. I haven't brought shrimp with me. Nice. <laughs> that AJ almost had him. That's good. Oh, he got it back. No, sir. Played it for me. Look at that. Put on the grill right away. No scales left. How about that? AJ or Goliath Grouper, no scales left. Thanks for doing the hard work. All beat up. Tex, 
Nice, man. Oh, you let it go. He's there. He's there. He's there. I didn't have nothing had him. Mm. Nothing had him the whole time. I could feel his head shake. Huh. So there's two types of techniques that we're using. One way is the way Luke is using. It's a chicken rig. Let me see it. Where you've got your shrimp. And then two feet below it is a weight. It's called a chicken rig. Then you also got the way I'm using half ounce jig head with a little shrimp, 20 pound test leader. He gets to send his all the way down to the bottom super fast. And mine, you just open your bale and slowly, slowly let it out. Brian's on. Oh. And typically they'll eat it before they get to the bottom. Oh, he's got that one. Oh. Just missed it. Oh. <laughs> You got that one. Woo. Great that success. Yeah. Uh-oh, Luke's on again. Yep. Oh, there's a little one. Let's see if we can catch him coming up. Nope, nothing that time. Nicely done, Lucas. As you can tell, they both work. It's just preference, whichever one you like better. That's the technique right there. Oh, and it got him. <laughs> this is not family friendly. You got her real faster. You got her real faster. <laughs> Dang, man, bro. Right at the end, bro. Oh, gotta pay, it. gotta pay to play. Oh, man. Just a little guy. Nice one. Nice yellow tail. Nicely done. Uh-oh, he might lose this one. He lost that one. Oh, he gave it back. Come on, crank on him. Come on, the dolphin's after it. After your pompano. Oh, it's a big blue runner. Cool. Big one. Naples Pier Special. Ooh, bangy, bangy. What did I just say? You said. I just told him to change baits, didn't I? I said cut it in half, you catch a man. Cut, cut what in half? Cut the bait in half, you catch a man. Change bait, change species. Change it up on them, guys. Don't do one thing all the time. Oh. <laughs> Luke almost lost him. I am known for my butter fingers. <laughs> and you know what? Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Ouch. I really can't stand it. <laughs> Can you turn off the camera? Turn off the camera. Turn it off. You know. Turn off the camera, right? They make these things called pliers, and he has them. We're just gonna... What are you gonna do this time? Use my pliers. <laughs> and he has a rag right here, but nope, we're not gonna use it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Come on, crank. Oh. 
0 for 25. <laughs> Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yes, sir. Nice one. It's cooler bound. All right, guys, we made it back to the dock and we caught a couple. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Just a couple. You tired? I'm very tired. You should be. I'm ready for bed. Nope, you got work to do. All right, guys, we are in the kitchen and it is time for some sushi. And as you guys heard on the video, Luke thinks that his sushi is better than mine. Way better and we're gonna find out. You guys be sure and let us know whose is better and then I might get my wife to make one too. And you guys can vote, who do you think makes the best sushi that is currently in this house? So what we've got, we've got the yellowtail snapper that you saw us catch. We've got some diced mango. We've got some cucumber, more mango, strawberries, yum yum sauce, Where's the seaweed? I'm not using the seaweed. No for seaweed this on one, this one? But... We've got seaweed. And there it is. Luke likes to use the official sushi roller bamboo thingy ma hooper. My uh, sushi rolling mat. A sushi rolling mat. Is I put down a little plastic wrap so it makes it clean and easy. And then I smush the rice down on the wrap. Smush. My little water here because the rice gets real sticky. Okay, so I got my fish down kind of near this side. Put my cucumber in there and a little bit of sliced mango to add a little sweetness. A nice, simple roll. Now we will attempt to flip this. Fold it over, connect the rice, smoosh it down. Is uh, smush a sushi chef word? Smush, <laughs> yes. And we tie the ends so nothing comes out. We got our bamboo roller. Make it nice and tight. Okay. Now maybe I'll roll it three or four times. We will slice off the ends. Uh-oh. 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 Gotta make sure the hands are nice and wet for this. Gonna take a break while he reevaluates his sushi roll. So we are not experts, obviously, and what we do is for our sushi rice, we go to that place. And all you gotta do is ask them for some sushi rice and they'll give it to you. Super, super cheap. And you don't have to make your own sushi sticky rice. But let's see how he's doing now. Uh oh, that was a smush. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Fine. Cut this out. Cut this out. I'm gonna 
first timer. I've never done this before. Given what I'm seeing, I'm pretty confident that I can make a better sushi roll in my mouth. So, um, we have our rice thinned out nicely here, I think. Okay. Um, let's just, we're going to start. That looks like a great piece of fish. I think that's a nice spot for it. Some mango slices. We're going to do some cream cheese of sorts. Make our homemade yum yum. And get some of that in there. You know what? Maybe I do want a small sliver of cucumber for a crunch. All right. I think I don't know what to do next. Saran wrap, Luke? Uh, this is all your roll. Oh, come on. And all right. No help. No help. That is not very thick. Okay. Okay. Keep it tight. Now, when you've got it all the way complete, connect the saran wrap okay. yep, like that. Twist the sides. And just roll? Roll it up and squish it. <laughs> squish. Squish and smush are our terms of the evening. Okay. And smush it like that. Nope, nope. Keep it flat on there. Okay, okay. Now, yep. And this is what it looks like out of the roll. Some of my yum yum sauce has um, protruded, escaped. So we're going to go, if I were to give this roll a name, it would be a tie dye roll. And I think that could really catch some traction at sushi restaurants everywhere is to make a tie dye roll. Oh gosh. This is terrible. Why are we using these knives? Okay. Oh my hey, goodness. Hey, that's just the beginning. How do you do? Okay, this is ridiculous. This is the worst. I don't have the patience for this. Are you serious? I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. I've got my rice down at the bottom. I've got some cream cheese. I'm going to layer it up with some snapper. And I'm going again with my mango. So a little bit of strawberry. What else? I think that'll work for the top half. So I'm going to roll that to right there. Roll it a little more. Oh no. See, mistakes coming already. It's not good. So then you got to wet that piece of seaweed right there, I think. I'm going to connect it right there, I hope. It's not looking good, folks. Could be in a major emergency here. Yeah. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Look at that. That's okay. Look at that, way better. Not too bad. Let me get it wet again. Luke, what are you thinking? Looks pretty good. The man knows what he's doing. Oh, baby. We're smiling now. <laughs> All right, I'll finish cutting this up and then we'll show you our final presentations. Folks, I have the award-winning spicy roll. It's got a little jalapeno with mango and a little drizzle of spicy yum yum. Inside, you can see it has yellowtail snapper, cucumber, and mango. It is sweet, but spicy. Okay, and I have the happy tie-dye roll here. So you can see presented with a smiling face, <laughs> complete with a nose. Um, tie dye because uh, some of what is in has um, blended with the outside. 
Um, you will see inside some cream cheese, cucumber, mango, and yellowtail snapper, um, and a dollop of yum yum sauce. It's a winner. Mm. Now you're coming to the fruit special. On the inside, you oh, have wait. some seaweed, and then you have some cream cheese, some mango, yellowtail snapper, yum yum sauce on the top with a piece of strawberry. Stop holding my hand. <laughs> So, based off presentations, based on presentation, we would like you guys to vote. Please comment on which presentation you think looks the best. Luke, number one. My wife, number two. And obviously the clear winner, number three. And then we're going to go with a... You have something to say? Yeah. Um, I think some of you guys are softball fans out there. And so you should obviously be picking mine. But we're, 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 we're Christians and we shouldn't lie. <laughs> Don't lie. Mm. It's called solidarity. It's called, it's called not telling the truth. Fine. Tell so, truth. vote on who do you think is the prettiest and whose is going to taste the best. I'm going to try Luke's. Unfortunately, they both use ingredients that I typically don't like. Um, not usually able to handle a jalapeno, but I'll do it for the sake of this. I think Luke should be disqualified. There's a dog hair on his. <laughs> right there. You should be disqualified. But no, I'll try it. Um, Gordon doesn't like jalapenos either. So he said if this lights me on fire. Okay, great. Just use I, your hands. All right. I played in Japan a couple times. Still don't have it down. The rice is That there. shows the quality of the roll is not perfect. Oh so it's falling apart. Look at that. No, his sat. I'll get, no, his sat for a while. <laughs> it is going to light her on fire. Oh right my now. gosh. <laughs> Luke! No, don't eat the whole thing. Don't do it. Here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even make a flavor assessment. My mouth is on fire. Oh my gosh. But it was a little sweet, right? Not really. I hope it's cold. What are you trying next? Mine. The happy tie-dye. The happy tie-dye. Oh, oh. It held together pretty mm -hmm. good. Pulling my mouth down. <laughs> it's all right. It's good. So you, well, who's first? What's your rating so far? Um, I can actually taste mine. So mine is the first. You may take a strawberry off. Yes, please. Yeah, I don't like strawberries for anybody. I don't like strawberries. I don't like tomatoes. Gordon thinks it's weird. Look at that sushi roll. Look at that. Not falling apart. Hold it there forever. I don't love it. <laughs> Rate right them. First, second, third. Mine comes in first. Because you can actually taste the mango. Um, I guess Gordon's. And then yours. But really, Luke, it's just I can't handle all pain now. It's... Can't do it. So yours comes in third. Alright, Luke's taste test to see who's he who's he likes better? Is that English? Who's he likes? Who's he likes better? Well, I might be the only one here that knows how to use chopsticks, so <laughs> okay. we'll see. This one's mine. This well, is the happy roll. It actually has a dog hair right there. No! <laughs> Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but Rip. we can see it. We're gonna take that out of there. I was wrong. It has a lot of yum yum inside. <laughs> <laughs> the cream cheese is overbearing. But you're just bitter. It, it, you're being spiteful. It slid down, so that's good. <laughs> um, next is the. Um, the fruit, the fruit roll, fruity roll, fruit roll up. All right. Um, this one looks like a good one. Presentation is good. He has um, sesame seeds on there. 
No, baby. Um, looks good. It's good taste, but the the uh, seaweed gets kind of stuck in your mouth. <laughs> um, so it was all right. Who's first so far? Definitely Gordy's is better than the <laughs> slip and slide. <laughs> Really good. Hot, but sweet. <laughs> Not sweet at all. So, that was very hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, Look what you made me do! I'd say <laughs> Gordy's comes in first. Mine comes in second. And um, this comes in third just because it's poor presentation. <laughs> All right, my test, taste test. Which one would you like me to start with first? Aubrey's. Aubrey's first, the slippery salmon. Okay, it's not even salmon. It is the But it looks good. Thank you, sweet husband. Oh, my hand is cramping. <laughs> oh, your hand is cramping? Mm-hmm. Catching too many fish. From the chopsticks? Mm. That's pretty good. A lot of yum-yum sauce, but it is good. Now I'm gonna go you for lied. for Luke's. Sam's Sam's jalapeno. Hmm. Hand is still cramping. I like it. it. Doesn't have enough flavor though. I like a little more pop without the jalapeno. So so far. My wife is in front of Mr. Lucas. Not mine. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Be honest. I'm going to say it's a tie between mine and Aubrey's. Woo! Mine would be way better, but... They're right, the seaweed gets a little tacky and sticky in your mouth. You guys got to decide, presentation, who wins, but as far as flavor, I think we can agree mine is the best. No. We can agree, and then I'm second. I'm second. <laughs> I'll take second. I'm yep. sorry, how did we just agree to that? <laughs> I'll take second. How did we just agree to Luke coming in second when you said mine was second? You know, any sushi chef would, would say this just because... I mean, it's seeping through the outside of the roll. That is very true. Presentation. What are you talking about? A sushi is 100% about presentation. So. one hundred And not flavor? You know, <laughs> the flavor, it just needs to be there. It's expected. All right. So you guys saw how to make sushi. If you have any questions, don't ask us. Go ask somebody who knows what they're doing. They clearly but don't. It is a lot of fun to make with friends. And uh, please let us know whose you think looks the best and we've got a reward for the winner that these two don't know about but you guys got to vote comment below which one is the best hopefully you guys like the video like share and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one time for some cake baby